Hello everybody, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be going over the installation of an AIO in our new uh, build, computer build. And we'll be using this to chew our CPU unit. The one we've chosen, the AIO we've chosen is the Core Master Master Liquid ML360 V2 AIGB. And it does come with RGB fans and an RGB pump. And it does allow you to install it in multiple sockets, including both Intel and AMD sockets. It does come with all the brackets required to do that, which is great. And we're going to be installing it today in an Intel LGA 1700 motherboard, the MEG Z790 Ace Max motherboard. Very excited to get started. If you do enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe at the end. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we assembled the radiator with the three fans by screwing in four screws per fan. And the way I positioned the fans, cables on the fans, is so that they, this, this, this is the RGB and power fans. They're gonna go into the back of my uh, case. So I have them on the same side. And uh, yeah, so be careful. Uh, align these cables the way you like, as well as the orientation of this on whatever side or the uh, tubes for the water, whichever side you want them to go on. All right, and all you do is just, you know, crisscross do it this way and tighten that way and then tighten this and that. Same thing here. But so I've already tightened them quite a bit. So there we go. Like that. And here. I think that should do it. I don't want to over tighten it. There we go, this is ready. So we're gonna put this bracket for the AIO, for the CPU. Can make sure it says the LGA 1700 on there. So that's for the Intel CPU. All right, so I'm just gonna stick this on the other side of the motherboard. And then as it's aligned, now we're gonna add these screws on the other side, these ones. So we put them in here. All right, so there we go. Now you can see all of these four screws have been added so we can add our chiller on top. For the LGA 1700, we're gonna be adding these brackets with these four screws here onto this pump. All right, and so this is gonna be oriented so that the curve goes down. I'm gonna add it on here. I'll do the same thing on the other side. You can see there's one, two holes here, and then these one, two holes here will align with that. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do now, and then I'll show you what it looks after. All right, so after you're done putting the bracket on, you see these tubes here. The brackets would need to be in this location and in that location, just sandwiching the tubes. And then there's little bracket, little notches over here that help guide you. And then the screws are put in from this side so that we can secure these brackets. If you look at it from the other side, you see the screws are in, nice and tight. And now we can attach it to our motherboard. All right, so now we're gonna be putting the motherboard with all the attachments inside the case. I'm gonna be sitting on top of these pegs. Uh, let's see, are the pegs oriented the way they should be? Uh, it looks that way. Yeah, it's for an ATX board. Yep, I think we're gonna be good. All right, 
up with the pegs. I don't want to scratch anything underneath. So if the motherboard is too big and it overlaps, these are going to be too thick. So you're going to have to cut from here and here so you can insert it in here. So what you do is cut it. This one. And then So now we're going to be securing the motherboard to the case. As you saw, we put it on top of these pegs. We have one, two, three, four. There's one hidden, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're going to use these screws. And you can look at for guidance in your manual for the case. Actually, these screws are for the uh, motherboard and the 2.5 inch solid, solid state drive mounts. So now we're going to take nine of these and secure the motherboard. All right, so now we're gonna put the radiator in and we'll guide the cables, the fan cables through this port over here. Yep. All right, buddy. And then we're gonna put the rest of the screws on. We'll push it all the way back. So we we'll open up some room here. So I'm gonna put the screws one, two, three, four, five, six, and same thing on the bottom here. Yep, and then you can adjust the radiator any way you want. You can move it around. Now we're gonna add the uh, chiller, the AIO, on top of the CPU. We're gonna add some paste. There we go. Okay. There we go. Using the uh, Arctic Silver Five. I'm gonna do this for the first time. I'm gonna try to spread it like a spatula. Like this. See if it'll work. Now we're gonna apply the chore. Well, first time I'm doing this like that, so see how it works out. All right, here's the pump. Let's put it on top. Oh, don't forget, you gotta remove the sticker. All right, so it won't work. Okay, now it should be fine. and the orientation is important the tubes on the pump here should be on the same side as the tubes on the radiator so they should not be on this side but the opposite side of the radiator yeah? if this was confusing let me know down below And also you want to have your radiator on top of your pump because you don't want to trap any the air will rise from the pump and go in the radiator you don't want the air to be trapped in the pump okay so now the way we're going to be tightening these is 
it's important. I'm gonna do this, then the opposite one, then across, and then the opposite one. So we have to crisscross it. This, this criss. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna tighten that. I'm gonna tighten this. I'm gonna tighten that. I'm gonna tighten this. Let me go back one more time. It's nice and tight. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And that's it. Our AI is on. All right. So this is the RGB and fan controller for our Core Master AIO for the CPU. This is, uh, so if we go on the other side, you can see our radiator for the CPU chiller it has one, two, three fans, as well as the pump here. And all of these have two things, a fan speed and RGB or the colors. And so two cables are coming out from each one of these units. And if we go on the other side, We'll take a look at what each unit uh, where those two fans so these two cables one of these is for the fan bmw so four pins so we can modulate the speed of the fan and this is the rgb for that specific fan so the colors so this is fan one fan two fan three and then this is the uh, water pump okay and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install the power supply and we'll hook up the power supply here and we're also going to attach this to the motherboard using these connections this is the system fully hooked up and you can see it's running nice and cool at about 33 degrees celsius and this is where i plugged in the rgb control for the io it's plugged into the cpu fan one port and the motherboard and this is what's recommended on the manual for the uh, aio all right, guys, this is it for now. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.